Yo, what's good, gang? It's the dope guy, and I am back with another video, big dog. Hope you guys are all doing well out there, because I'm doing all right. Here I am spinning the block with content for y'all, Melma. So, today's video is black culture. Teenage brothers fight over Christmas gifts, and they shoot each other and their sister. Bro, this is a Hodge Twins video. I came across this story on Instagram, and people was posting on Facebook. I was like, yo, two brothers, Christmas gifts, and then they, they shoot, one of them shoots their sister, the older sister. And I, I heard that, I read that they that the sister was holding her baby. I'm like, bro, what is going on, dog? Like, bro, that's crazy. Gen Z generation is insane, bro. They ain't got it all the way up here, bro. A lot of them ain't got it up here. I'm not even gonna hold you. They crazy, they wild, they lazy. It's insane, dog. I don't know, man. It's, it's, it's a sad situation, bro. On Christmas Day, on Christmas Day, bro. Heart goes out to the family for real, for real. It's insane, man. It's insane, but they're a different breed out here. I ain't even gonna hold you. But I'm done talking, so I cannot wait to hop into the video. But before we do that, subscribe to the Dope Guy. That way to get notifications every time I upload. And, come, and follow me right here on Snapchat and Instagram right across the bottom screen. So with that being said, I'm not gonna hold y'all much longer because y'all already know this go big dog. Let's get into it. Yes, sir. Yeah. Got a new show for y'all. Got a damn good show. Damn good show. Man. You know, you know, when I hear stories like this, man, I just lose I just lose all faith in black people. Just lose all faith, man. I just want to give up. It's not all of us, bro. I just, I, it ain't all of us. Yo, Kev be, he be violating. It don't be all of us, bro. He knows that. They're joking, of course. They're comedians. They're, this is what they do. But he knows deep down it's not all of us, bro. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I wish I could go to sleep, wake up, and I'm a white man. Because when I go out in town, when I apply for a job, when I go to the grocery store, when I go get me a chicken sandwich, when I go down the road, when I when I go out for a walk, I got to pay consequences. Because there's a bunch of sorry ass all right, all right, Okay, okay, okay. I get it. All right, so it's this story, right? And, um... This is what hurts the black community. It's not white supremacy. It's the culture within our community. It's us community. Yeah, people be in, in, embracing we this dumb shit that we be yeah. doing. No, no, it's not us. It's them. <laughs> yeah, it's not us. It's them. Yeah, he's talking figurative. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I'm going to go, because I don't identify as being a black man. Who do you identify as? I identify as a mulatto. <laughs> you ain't no mulatto. A combination of two different breeds of you. He's stupid. <laughs> But don't hold it against me because I'm hey. half African. Hey, Kevin, you know <laughs> that was a joke. You didn't get that? No, no, no. You, you, you didn't. You didn't get that. That was no, a joke. Kevin, you talking crazy? You no, man, that was funny. And let me say something. So you know not that's your Negro side. <laughs> Look, you don't know identify as being black. You're just black. See, being brainwashed by those uh, LGBTQs, ABCs, and DLC. Well, I don't identify, but my genetic makeup is a different race. See. I got you. black. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. How many Negroes you see walk around with green eyes? <laughs> <laughs> but you must draw the black gem. I, I, that's not my mistake. Oh, you're stupid. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Look, he I'm crazy, dog. Black. The other white is right. <laughs> it's white. <laughs> well, you're not. I keep, I'm not black. I'm not white. I'm somewhere uh, in the Twilight Zone. Here's the video of what happened. Is that a word? Shut up. Here's the video of what happened. Well, play it, Negro. Look at you. Can you use cell phone right? You know why, don't you? Push play, Negro. <laughs> hey, Kevin, stop. Push play. Okay, stop. You're making okay, me nervous. I'm waiting. You're Look. making my anxiety kick in. Relax. <laughs> All right, here we go. Show her filled with joy. On Christmas Eve, while at her grandmother's home on 22nd Avenue in Largo, she'd had enough of her brothers bickering. Demarcus and Darkus began pulling Darkest. guns on one another. Darkus? I knew it, I heard Demarcus, but Darkus is crazy. Crazy. What the hell were you thinking? Name him Darkus. Yo, y'all just be... Bro, these new age parents, bro, with this Gen Z, y'all just be naming y'all kids anything, bro. What the hell is a Darkus? <laughs> That's insane, bro. Darkus is wild. Like, bro... When I think of the name, I automatically assume you own dumb shit. Automatically, bro. Darkest is a wild name. Straight hood name, bro. Ain't no way in hell. I'll name my son Darkest. Told Demarcus 
Quote, you all need to leave that stuff alone. Why are you trying to start it? It's Christmas. They both had been fighting over <laughs> Christmas so presents, cute? with the 15-year-old Darkus jealous that their mom had spent more on gifts for 14-year-old Demarcus. After Abriel stepped in, Demarcus pulled a gun and fired, killing her. Crazy. Her son Sister. His nephew, an 11-month-old, falling to the ground. Then, Darkus pulled his own gun and shot Darkus. Demarcus, leaving him badly injured. This proliferation of guns brothers. on the streets. And Young 14 and 15 year old brothers shooting each other over Christmas gifts is crazy. Crazy, bro. This shit is unheard of, dog. And guns in this area and guns in the hands of these kids, this is the worst I've ever seen. I don't think we've ever seen it this bad. I think it's all it has nothing to do with the guns. It's the people that has uh, that that it's, it's 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 a problem when that gun falls in a culture that's dangerous. Yeah, the gun didn't do the crime. Darkest did. Yeah, they named them like twins, the Marcus and Darkest. Right. That's the most good twin names. Darkest. Darkest is crazy. No, it's Darkest and Demarcus. Man, I never heard that name, Darkest. <laughs> so like a damn that's something a Negro came up with. It's so like a damn. It's so like a damn. Uh, uh, it's like a damn, a damn superhero villain. <laughs> Facts. Oh shit, there's Darkus. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's point blame where blame belongs. Not the guns. Not the guns. Well, the guns great? don't help. Well, you a liberal now? <laughs> no, I'm just saying. The guns. I'm just saying they're trying to demonize guns is the people. Yeah, I'm just saying guns. guns. Like you can, like for example, let me say, let me clean this up. Let me clean this up. I yeah, because that sounds pretty liberal. Yeah, it sounds like a... No, liberal's fine. It, it sounds progressive. Yeah, it sounds progressive. What I meant to say was... Spit it out! Guns will make a, a, a bad situation for <laughs> <laughs> Duh. But they can help, too. Yeah. See, look. Perfect example. Money. In the hands of the wrong person, that man or woman can do evil things with that money. Yeah. Is the money evil? No. Can I get an amen? Amen. Is the money evil? No, it ain't, law. Can I get an amen? <laughs> amen. That money could be for good or it could be for evil. Evil. <laughs> yes. evil. Yeah, just because somebody evil takes the money doesn't, it doesn't, Yo. it's not because the money's evil, it's because the human that's using the money is evil. Yeah. Same thing goes for guns, man. Yeah, let me read this all quick. I goes. think personally, you should ban anybody with the name Darkest, they should have a gun. <laughs> it's only gonna be one. Yo, Darkest is crazy. Hey, let me read the article. The article actually. You goes, show up to the police department to get a concealed gun permit, right? They say, oh, uh, so how you pronounce that name? Darkest? Is that correct? I'm sorry, you're not approved. <laughs> get the hell out of here. <laughs> And who's next? Demarcus? Oh, I don't like that name either. <laughs> no, that's a normal name. You took a good white name and put duh in front of it. Yeah, Marcus is good. I like, like, I don't know what's wrong with black people. They try to reinvent no, the Marcus is a cool name. That's a Demarcus, good name. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Darkest, like, I'm. That's Darkest crazy. Name Darkest name is before. insane. Okay, let me read the article because it goes in more into detail. You know, they took my name, Kevin, to change it to Devin. So sometimes black people do good things. <laughs> With names. Was it Kevin? <laughs> no, Devin. Oh. <laughs> the cat. All right, let me read the article. Go into more in detail. Mama should have named it Devin and Kevin. That'd have been better. I don't know what your name is, Keith. No, nah, think about it. Devin and Kevin. Keith's like a Jewish name. <laughs> <laughs> nah, well, that ain't funny. What am I laughing? I don't know. All right, let me read the article. They stupid, it goes into bro. More in detail. Look here. A 14 year old Florida teen fairly shot his sister in an argument over Christmas gifts only be shot moments later by his own teenage brother, authorities said. The argument started when the brothers ages 14 and 15, 14 and 15. Kids, bro. We're out shopping on Christmas Eve Sunday. Why y'all waiting for Christmas Eve? That's gotta be, that's why they was still stretched. Shouldn't wait the last day to shop. <laughs> you shouldn't wait for Christmas Eve to shop for Christmas. Okay, they were out shopping on Christmas Eve Sunday with their mother and sister and got into a spat over who was receiving more Christmas gifts. That sounds like some Paul kid shit. Gulateri said at a news conference. After shopping the boys, after shopping the boys, their mother, their 23 year old sister, Abriel Baldwin, and Baldwin's two young children, ages 11 months and six, went to their grandmother's home in Largo, where the argument continued. That's when the 14 year old brother stood in the doorway. He took out his 40 caliber semi automatic handgun, pointed at his brother, and told him he was going to shoot him in the head. 
Galatari said. The 14-year-old tried to get his 15-year-old brother to fight, and an uncle ended up separating them and moving the 14-year-old outside into the driveway. Stop breathing through your nose. It's like a damn horse sitting right here. That's where he found Abriel carrying her 11 month old baby in a carrier. She told him, you all need to leave that stuff alone. Why are you trying to start it? It's Christmas, Galatari said. Hey, man. Look, the 14-year-old argued with her, called her derogatory terms, and shot her in the chest as she was holding her infant in the carrier, Galatari said. She fell, and the baby fell too, but was unharmed. The 15-year-old brother then came outside, took out a 45 caliber semi-automatic handgun, exclaimed, you shot my mother, F, and sister, and shot the 14-year-old one time in the stomach, the sheriff officer said. The, sh enough. the sheriff said it was an eight-second gap between the time the 14-year-old shot Abrael. That's enough. And, and before he shot That's him, enough. He himself was shot. That's enough. The 15-year-old then ran, threw his gun in a nearby yard, and fled to a relative's house in Clearwater. Wow. Old niggas behave the same. Abrael himself was taken to a hospital and died of her wound. So why did he run and throw the gun away? Yeah, I guess so they can't prove what happened? Man, people, these criminals, man, they don't understand the implications of the actions. They don't understand. Some of them don't have the capacity to think. Oh, man, I shot somebody. I'm going to run and throw the gun away so they can't prove it's me. <laughs> yeah, that should fix it there. Darkest or the Barkus or whoever the hell's running. It's a tragedy, man. man it's, it's sad, man. It's sad yeah. as hell. But, if, um, but you know what it just boils down to? That, that household is probably very, very toxic. Um, that it has to be darkest, whatever, or the market. I mean, you see, daddy's not around. Yeah, so, yeah, daddy's not. Yeah, then well, sister, up, let me sister say. got all these kids. Ain't no yeah. daddy around. Yeah, yeah. Let me, 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 let me make my point. point. Let me make my point. That 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 household is probably toxic. There's probably some favoritism, you know, some preferential treatment going around in that house. Right? Yeah, I know. And it was boiling, boiling to finally this happened on Christmas. There's probably some truth behind it, but you don't shoot your sister over it. For real. That's what I'm saying. That shit but is that's insane. Just, how about that's going to factor in your kids? So like one kid gets more presents. Because yeah. kids notice that stuff. That, 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 that destroys kids. Yeah. yeah. It really does. But, but the Marcus or the darkest, whoever shot who, I mean, that was horrible. But what led up to this? Bad parenting? Probably not a father in the home? Probably broken? It's not that, um, there's that, no man in the home. Yeah. These, these guys, these young boys are acting like, like, like females. Angry black emotional woman. female. No, they act like angry. There's black nothing woman. worse than a young teenage man Can't be wild, who behaves bro. like a a teenage woman. Yeah, you need a male in the home. That's yeah. They're yeah. too emotional. It's called the nuclear family. <laughs> it's called the without the nuclear family, man, society will fall. I was having a bad move. Yeah, nuclear. Just nuclear. That was a horrible show. Yeah, that shit was insane. A horrible man. incident. Yeah, but man, you don't. Your sister, bro. It just highlights, it showcases what's wrong with the black community. Just no nuclear family. We're our own worst enemy. No Not white people. No nuclear family. Hey, we got a new giveaway going. Oh, bro, that shit is sad as hell, bro. He shoot his sister, and then the brother shot him for shooting his sister. So he was protecting his sister. But why do you, these two youngest got semi-automatic guns in the crib, bro? Fourteen and fifteen years old. I don't know, I read the story like a couple days ago. She was sad as hell, like, bro, on Christmas while Shorty was holding her 11-month-old baby. It's crazy to me. Oh, some Christmas gifts. They say Clearwater and, and Largo, this is in Florida. If y'all don't know, this that's, this is in Florida. You know what I'm saying? I know people who live in them areas, you know what I'm saying? But it's wild, dog. It's it's insane, bro. Sister, a sister is gone, two brothers, little brothers in jail on murder and attempted murder. It has to be bad parenting, bro. Bad parenting, uh, no male figure in the house. It's, it's just insane, bro, man. It's a sad, it's a sad situation overall, bro. On on the holidays, bro, going into 2024, bro. And, and this family has dealt with tragic. It's insane, man. Man, crazy, man. I, I feel for the the 23 year old, every year I feel for our kids, man. And send prayers and love to them, man, for real. Shit is insane, man. People are crazy. This generation is insane, dog facts but yo hope you enjoyed the reaction to this video if you enjoy my reaction please give me a thumbs up subscribe to the dope guy big dog hit the notification bell whenever I upload from right here on snapchat and instagram right across the bottom screen and in the videos you may check out please comment in this video my other videos leave likes and comments on all my videos to help grow the channel help the algorithm for sure but yeah man sad situation man
going to 2024, bro. We got a few days left of 2023. It's just, it's just sad shit, especially for that family, man. Prayers to that family. But yeah, man, it's the dope guy, and I am out. Yes, sir. Here we go.